Microsoft have a Link SDN interface, which is now called Skype for Business SDN interface. And this allows developers to build applications and services that can monitor, isolate, and correct issues on the network that affect Skype for Business quality of experience. The installer application also provides customers with the ability to interface with third-party applications built on the Skype for Business SDN API. So when I click download, I can see the release notes. I can download schema information. There's a help file, a PDF help file. We have some software, Skype for Business Dialog Listener and Skype for Business SDN Manager. This is the PDF document that I've previously downloaded, which talks about the Skype for Business software-defined networking or SDN interface version 2.2. So here's an overview of Skype for Business SDN interface architecture. What we have are link clients or Skype for Business clients making calls. When they set up a call, that information is sent by the link front end servers to what is called a dialog listener. That in turn is sent to the SDN manager software. This is the software that you would download from the Microsoft website when you download the SDN API. So the dialog listener is installed on the link front end server. The SDN manager is installed on a separate server and that forwards information to a system and in this example, I'm gonna demonstrate the HP Network Optimizer software, which is receiving those events, and then in turn can program one or more networks using OpenFlow to provide better quality of service on the network. The idea here is rather than configuring quality of service manually for link clients on your network devices, classification and marking of traffic is dynamically and automatically done using OpenFlow. Here's another example of the infrastructure. So we have our Skype for Business clients. They're setting up calls. The Skype for Business front end server is forwarding that information to the dialog listener, which in turn is forwarding it to the SDN manager software, which in turn is forwarding call information to a third party system, which can take that data and do something. In our example, OpenFlow is being used to dynamically write flows to switches to prioritize traffic.